So first I'm going to determine the size of all my individual pieces for this Damascus. I've got 49 inches, so we're just gonna mark it off at 48. We'll mark it all off in six inch increments. There we go, excellent. Now that we've got it all marked off in six inch increments, I'm going to put both my seals. The first is 1084, the second is 15 and 20. Uh, we're gonna figure out the halfway point and cut it in half and then we'll just double it up and start cutting it off here in the bandsaw. Once I preheated my billet, I'm just gonna apply a light layer of flux. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that flux is not glue. It doesn't bind anything together. All it does is clean the pieces before we weld them. You can see little tiny cracks in there. It's melting, it's flowing down in between. Great. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring this whole entire piece up to welding temperature. So once I've hit welding temperature, I'm gonna bring it out and set my weld under the hydraulic press. Make sure that we're getting everything nice and even as we compact it. Looks good. Just gonna use my brush. Brush off the scale. Hit it lightly again with flux. There you go. And back in, just one more set on that and then we'll start drawing out the billet. Starting our drawing out. Kind of keep it nice and even. Let's 
So once my billet's back to temperature, I'm gonna kick on the hydraulic press and go for our second draw. So I've drawn it down three times in the hydraulic press. Now I'm gonna take it over to my rolling mill and start drawing that billet out longer. So I've cut off my handle so I can start rolling the other end, get a much more consistent draw on this billet then. Not worried about any sort of deflection that I'm getting at the moment. Great. I can take it, grab it from the other side, and roll that down. I like using the rolling mill because just the action of it will only lengthen the steel, it won't actually make it wider. Whereas with a power hammer or the hydraulic press, it starts pushing down and squishing out to the sides. So it's going to widen our billet. This, once we get our billet as wide as we want it, the rolling mill just thins it down. All right, so here we go. We've got our first run of our billet. We're just about 20 inches. Uh, I'm going to use about 19 inches of this uh, just so that we can waste the ends and we don't have to worry about weird overlap or uh, how it all is gonna line up. So we're gonna just mark out our 19. So these two little ends are gonna get chopped off and then we're going to mark this out. Uh, we're going to do this four more layers. That'll give us a that'll give us our 64. Um, so we're just going to trim these off at four and three quarter inches. Now that we've actually got each of our pieces marked out for four and three quarter inches. Uh, I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to put a line down here. This way, when we started out our billet, we had uh, 15 and 20 and 1084 on either side. Uh, so this way, we're not actually going to end up stacking uh, 1095 next to, or sorry, uh, 15 and 20 and 1084. Uh, we're, we're not going to end up stacking our uh, 15 and 20 on top of 15 and 20. We're going to make sure that you know it goes on the right side. And that way we just don't double stack. We don't get extra thick layers. Uh, more important with the uh, 1084 because that was five, uh, 530 seconds to start out with. Now I'm gonna take it over to the bandsaw and we'll go ahead and cut it. I, you know, I'm right there with you. Watch.
Yeah. Why that hammer? I just like the shape of it. Gives a nice contour. Means I don't have to. Uh, means I don't have to take it over to the English for the London hammer. All right. 